Organic or free reach on Facebook is really continuing to plummet. In this video, I will show you exactly how to boost a post to reach more people from your smartphone. All right, let's get into it. Hello, busy people. Welcome to 5-Minute Social Media. If you have gotten frustrated or struggled with social media for your business, you're in a great place. Every week, we put out a quick video to help you with a different piece of your social media marketing strategy to help you get more in less time. If that sounds like it'd be helpful to you, take a second, hit subscribe, click that bell, and that way you'll be notified each week when we release another helpful video. My name is Jerry Potter, and more and more of us are running entire businesses from our phone. By the end of this video, you're going to know exactly how to boost a Facebook post and reach more people from your smartphone. Now, I'm going to be showing you on an iPhone, but it looks almost exactly the same on Android. You can do a lot of things on your business page in the regular Facebook app, but if you don't have it, I suggest getting the Facebook Pages Manager app pictured here on the screen. You can find it for iOS or Android, and usually they'll roll out more features to it before rolling them out for businesses in the regular Facebook app. Although that is changing as time goes along. Once you're inside, they look about the same. So I'm gonna go to a post here that I want to boost. Tap Boost Post. And it brings up this screen. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is choose your goal. And you want to make sure to pay attention to this step because part of the way that Facebook boosting or Facebook ads work is they go out of their way, or I should say their algorithm goes out of the way to show it to people that will help you reach your goal. So if your goal is to drive traffic to your website, they're gonna show it to people who have a tendency to click links to go to websites. If your goal is to get messages in Messenger, they're gonna show it to people more likely to send lots of messages or that are very active on Facebook Messenger. So I've got two options here for this photo post. One, get more messages. One, get more engagement. So I think I'm gonna just go with get more engagement. Now, if you had a video there, then video views would also be one of your options. Just below that, they're going to have a button on your post when it's boosted. So you can see it defaulted here to send message. I can uh, tap on that and I can say no button if I don't want a button or book now, learn more, shop now, sign up. You can choose all these different ones. So watch if I tap book now, then they're gonna have a place for me to put my link in. Choose the best one for you because I'm just going for engagement on this. I'm just gonna say no button. Then I tap done on the upper right. Takes me back to this screen. Next up is the audience. So you have a, an option to choose just people who like your page. And you can use that if the people who like your page are your ideal customers. But if you've got a page that has a bunch of family and friends on it that will never buy from you, well, that may not be your best choice. You can also do people who like your page and their friends. So if you've ever seen a company come up in your feed and then it mentions a few of your friends that also like that company, that's how you would have that. You can see here, I've got 21 different audiences in here from various things that I've set up in Facebook Ads Manager. If you do not have any audiences though at all, what you're gonna wanna do is tap Add New. Then you can go through and decide who and how you're going to reach them. So you can start at the top with, uh, if you wanna do a region, it's by default going to Washington State because that's where I am. But you can go in here and you can type in a city, which is where I am, hit Done. And uh, now it's going to target that city. You could also do multiple cities. A whole country, lots of different options there. Or you can type address on this side. You can actually put in your business address and then do a radius around where you are targeting. Below that, you see characteristics. This is where you can add people's interests or behaviors. So once you get in here, and I'm not gonna go deep, but you can go through and you can say, hey, I want them to be married, or I want them to be single, or I want them to be into fitness, or I want them to enjoy seafood. So you can put together all these different combinations of people. Also, you can just search here at the top. So maybe I just wanna say, hey, I want people that are into seafood. So you can see now I brought up seafood. It's like, okay, are they into the food as an interest? Or is seafood in their job title or employer? So I'm gonna say, I want seafood, people who are into the food. Check that, hit save. And then maybe I also want people who are, I don't know, into yoga. <laughs> hit save. So now interests are seafood and yoga. So it'll target anybody that has either one of those. Then I can choose my age range. So I'm gonna say 25 to 60 year olds. And then I'm gonna target women 
Then I can name the audience. Women 25 to 60, pizza eating yogis. There we go. And then down here at the bottom, it'll tell you how big your audience is. So this shows me the potential audience size is 170,000 people. I hit done. So now I've selected my audience. Next up is going to be your budget. So what is your total budget that you want to spend on this? The minimum is a dollar a day. So let's say $30 for three, four, five days. And it shows down here, you'll spend $6 per day and then the end date right here. You can choose whether or not you wanna run the ad on Instagram. Now understand this does not show up as a post on your Instagram feed. This just runs as an ad to expose it to people on Instagram. If you are gonna use that, I strongly suggest you tap this See Instagram Preview button so you can at least see what it's gonna look like when people see it on Instagram. Instagram's different, like the caption comes below it among other things. And then if you don't have a payment method, this is where you would add your credit card. When you were all set, you would hit boost post. Now you can see it's under review, essentially making sure you're not boosting something that is shocking or offensive or something that violates Facebook's community guidelines. If your ad does get rejected for some reason, they'll notify you, they'll tell you why. All right, wanna know how to do more things from your smartphone? Find more tutorials for the business owner on the go in the description of this video. And if you have a Facebook business page, make sure it's been optimized for profit. I have a free five minute Facebook facelift and you can grab it in the description of this video right now or just go to thefacebookfacelift.com and grab it there. Thank you so much for watching today. Questions about anything we covered, let me know down in the comments. Otherwise, thank you for supporting 5-Minute Social Media. You're not only supporting me, but also my two tiny superheroes at home.